Greetings. I'm the Reverend James Allen. I'm the current pastor of Trinity Chapel, African Methodist Episcopal Church here in the great city of Baymanette, Alabama. I have served here for 10 and a half years, wonderful years. And when I look back, I just thank God for those 10 years. Truly, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants who have come before me, such as Reverend Jones, such as Reverend Rember, such as Reverend Anderson, and all the others who have come before me. But Trinity still stands even after all those years. We find out what God has done, and we think and we look back on our lives and say, if it had not been for the Lord, where would I be? And we thank God just for that. But when I think back myself, I tell you, you know, many of us don't remember, but I have been here before. I have been here, I'm reminded when I came to Trinity once, and I was not even in the ministerial ranks. I came with my pastor here several years ago, between 20 and 27 years ago. Reverend Leggett came here to preach. And I'm reminded of someone who was doing the, uh, doing the prayer when I came in the church. Uh, yes, is one of our own, Reverend Sister Ruth Adams. She was doing the prayer at that time. I'm so reminded also when I came here another time, about 18 and a half years ago, I was serving in the church right here because you didn't have a current pastor at that time and they needed someone to fill in. I came and filled in for about a month here and I, I was looking back there. When I look back, I can look back in the corner and see Brother McCants back there teaching a man's Sunday school class. And he does a fine job, was doing a fine job. Those are some of the old stalwarts of our church who have been here and gone on but we thank God for the work that they did while they were here. God has been good to us. I say God has been good to us. And we just ought to look back and say to ourselves, you know, oh yes, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Good evening, I'm Donis Norman. I am the Sunday school teacher here and superintendent at Trinity Chapel AME Church at 906 Dobson Avenue here in Bay Burnett, Alabama. Our church, I want to give you a brief history of our church. Our church was organized in 1883. We have a long history. As you can tell from the toyness and the use of our hymnal, we have been here for a mighty long time. We have been here with one accord, one mind, focusing on the praise and worship of our God. Our mission is to focus on the physical and spiritual and emotional needs of our community, as well as educate. This is the mission of the AME Trinity Chapel, AME Church. And we, the members, do our best to help and facilitate our goals and mission of the church. We are continuing on. We are some may be old and worn at this Bible, but yet of this hymnal, but we are continuing on focusing with the faith and help of our God. The church was originally um, built in 1883. And in 1912, we have the first recorded deeds of our church. It was some members then who came forth and went to the courthouse and paid one dollar to, to get the deeds processed. And the members of those people were, the members were at that time, Mr. George W. Walker, Mr. Richard Scott, Mr. Malachi Williams, James Hale and Benjamin Thompson were the trustees at that time of Trinity Chapel AME Church here in Babinette, Alabama. This was in 1912. And in 1950, the church was rebuilt. And it, it continued on and we had another uh, annexing of our church in 1965. And we have another recorded, the church became incorporated in 1982. The members who helped facilitate the incorporation of our church in 1982 were Mr. Frank Hardy, Mr. James Hawthorne, Brother Willie E. Edwards, Sister Laura Mosley, Sister Maddie Bryant, Brother Shedrick Hardy, Brother Leon McReynolds, and Brother William Stevenson, and Ernest Grace, and Sister Eva Pearl Grace, Ruth Shepherd, and Eugene Smith. 
These were the trustees of the Trinity Chapel AME Church at the time that our church became incorporated here in, at the probate office in Baldwin County. My name is Ellen Bogan. I'm a steward in the church. I work in the kitchen. I sing in the choir. And I've been going to Trinity all my life. My mother and father, they started here. We moved to Baymanet when I was two. And Trinity is the only church I ever known and stuff. And my mother and daddy, they was strict about Sunday school, coming to church and stuff. They didn't play. My daddy was an usher, and my mother, like the secretary, she was a superintendent of Sunday school. And every morning when we got up on Sunday morning stuff, we were dressed and we was in church every Sunday. They didn't slack out you. I mean, you stay at home and stuff. That didn't work. So I've been here. I'm 65 now. So I've been here all my life and stuff like that. We used to have this little store, Mr. Willie Elver. It used, I remember, it used to be over there. And like I said, when all my anus, all my anus, they came here. And they was like uh, urshers. They would wear the white, like a nurse's thing with the hat and the shoes and stuff. You didn't talk, you didn't chew gum, you didn't do anything, you sit there. And they would take you, if you know, acting up stuff, they'd take you out, outside, they bring you back in, you sit there. They didn't all this laying down and different stuff like that. They didn't play that, so that like instilled in me. So now I got five brothers and four sisters. And all of us just were raised up in the church. Some of us great, but we come back. And like I said, Trinity is the only church I, I know. I've been here all my life. And, and I just, you know, enjoy. I enjoy our pastor and stuff. And like I said, I remember Reverend Jones and Reverend Holloway. That's the one I remember the most, Reverend Holloway. And that was over 50 years ago. Yes, uh, I was raised up in this church. My whole family, the Cox family, and the Nave family. Back in my young days, I was, uh, I remember Reverend Holloway, Reverend Rimmel, Reverend Brooks, and Reverend Jones, who baptized me in my young days. I wouldn't take nothing for Trinity Chapter. I thank God for letting me come back home off, uh, off that street out there for 31 years as a deputy sheriff. But you always come back home. This is home. Trinity Ch Chapel is my home. I used to drive the senior citizen bus and pick up the senior citizen for uh, the community center for Reverend John. Pick up the senior citizen and take him to the community center. From Tensaw, Little River, and bring him to Bayminette to feed him. The church ended up coming a long way. Come a long way. But it always been Trinity Chapel. It always something you do in church. I've been a member of this church, and like everybody else, my whole life. Um, as, as a child, uh, I can remember uh, up under uh, the leadership of uh, Pastor Jones. Uh, Pastor Jones uh, done a lot for this church. Uh, he got a bus. Uh, he was uh, the one, uh, I don't know if you remember, the community center down there in, 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 in Douglasville. Trinity was responsible for building that. 
Uh, it was a community center during the summertime, and like I was like, I wouldn't say I was like 13, 14 at the time. Uh, he, we used to go around. He used to pick up kids and down in, uh, off of 225, which is Brumley. We used to go to Stockton during the summertime. We had a camp we, uh, at, at the community center and uh, used to serve lunch. And I can't remember all what we done. And there also is a swimming pool behind the, uh, the community center, which is no longer there. But there's a swimming pool back there. Uh, he was responsible for getting that built. Uh, we used to pick up the kids from Faulkner State Community College and bring them to church. Uh, um, like I said, he, he done, we done a lot up under uh, Reverend Jones at, at the time. I, they said he was uh, a little ahead of his time. <laughs> uh, and like I say, uh, and I'm a, I'm a steward, um, a member of the choir board. I'm a, a, a missionary, well, I was a missionary president. Um, and like I say, during the summer and then during the, at the choir, most time I was the youngest one in the choir. And when the choir used to travel, we used to, uh, most time we used to travel to our pastor before that. Uh, like Reverend Rembert, up under him, we used to travel to Reverend Jones' new church. And uh, they used to always tick, uh, tease me because I was the youngest one. They said I shouldn't even be in, going on the trip, but we used to have a good time up there. He, we used to have uh, cookouts, we used to play volleyball, and then we would attend church there also at his church. Later on, up under the leadership of uh, Reverend Jemison, who added the foyer out front of the church. Uh, we used to do a lot of things with him. And I used to also be a uh, president of the uh, YPD, which is the Young People's Department. And we used to take them to like the Selma for conventions and stuff. Um, we also, um, do, uh, as a child, we used to have Sunday school, what they call Sunday school convention. And it usually go for a whole week and uh, the, the uh, members, parents of the church, they would get a child or two and, and put them in their house to board them for that week. And uh, the whole week we used to have Sunday school, we used to do, uh, do workshops for the kids, which well, I was a child at the time too. Um, like I said, we used to have workshops, they serve us lunch, then we go out like have a, a play for a little while, and then you know everybody go back home, everybody would go back to their individuals, like say each person, out the parents out the church used to get a child or two and board them for that week. Uh, and that was our Sunday school convention. Um, uh, and right now, uh, like our, um, we have our missionary, which is, our, which is called uh, the Essie Goodley uh, Missionary Society. And, you know, as a missionary, we used to go out, uh, uh, you know, if somebody was sick, had been in the hospital or something, we would go and sing and pray with them. And, um, you know, and then we have our, our conventions, our missionary conventions, which will sometimes be in uh, Birmingham, Montgomery. I think they had it this year in Mobile. Um, uh, like I said, I've just been a member of this church my whole life. and. Um, and you know, we just had uh, this, this. Like I said, this church been good to me. I must say, because uh, things that I've been through, they have been here for me, and I thank God for that, and I thank God for them. My name is Annie, and uh, I'm on the Ursha board. I'm a mission. I'm a member of the missionary. I uh, try to do anything that I can in the church. Uh, I help clean the church um, whenever we have a program and we have dinner for our guests. I help serve. Uh, and I've been at Trinity now for about five years. I was here as a little girl with my grandmother and my mom. Her name was Laura Mosley. She was uh, on the board to serve uh, the Lord's Supper. She worked at, in the choir and also in the kitchen. And I remember back when my daughter was little and my grandmother would be putting all of the Lord's Supper up and they were serving wine at the time. And my daughter would always want to stay here with my grandmother. 
and my grandmother realized that my daughter was drinking the wine. So uh, we had to make sure that she didn't drink it. And uh, my grandmother, she worked in the church. She did everything that she could here in the church. Um, and that was before I left as a child and when I came back. Um, before I left, my mom sang in the choir. Her name was Bernice Valerie. Um, and there was a song that uh, they used to sing. It was, What Is This? And um, they all sang it to the utmost with their heart. You know, you could tell that they were singing from their heart. They were young then. Um, and uh, since I've been back at church, this church, I was baptized again under uh, Pastor James Allen. And um, I'm willing to do anything that I can for the church. We have projects going on right now um, to redo the outside, uh, a parking lot, to uh, finish the bathrooms off in the bottom, in the annex. And um, I just enjoy coming to church here. I enjoy uh, my pastor. I love my pastor. I love the members of our church. As a little girl, I remember Sunday school. There used to be a building right across the street. And after Sunday school, we would go over there. We would try and save our money that was supposed to be put in church. But uh, my grandmother always caught us. So she would turn around and give us money so we can go and buy the cookies and the juice or whatever they had. And um, as a little girl growing up, I enjoyed myself here. And uh, when I came back, I had a daughter. I had been married and uh, lost my husband. So I moved back down south and I've been here ever since and I enjoy the services on Sunday. My name is Frank David Mosley Jr. and I'm a member of Trinity Chapel AME. And I was a member from far back as I can remember when I was a kid. My mother used to bring me to church. First, she used to send us to Sunday school. And I was a, like a troubled kid. At the Sunday school, she tell me I better be at church when she get here. But some Sundays I would slip away, go back through the bushes, back home. And so when she get home, I had to pay for it. And so I was a member here up until I was a man, I was grown. And I came back home, my mother was ill, so every time I talk with her on the phone, when are you coming home? They get me, she was with my sister in Florida. In fact, she was in the nursing home in Florida. And so I retired and I dropped everything and came home and got her. Went to Florida and got her and I brought her home and she had to be put in a nursing home here. And when I stayed here, I was planning on taking care of her at home, but the doctor wanted her in the nursing home. And but every Sunday, I go get her, bring her to church, and uh, take her back, have trouble getting her out the car. She didn't want to go there. She wanted to go home. And so I, I did that up until 06. That's when she passed. My father passed in 99. He was 91 and when my mother passed, she was 95. And I wanted to spend time with the both of them, but my father, he passed, you know, while I was still in Connecticut. And uh, this is uh, my mother here, and that's her there. She was taking communion here. And uh, after she passed, 
I continued coming to church. In fact, I never left church. I found me a church in uh, Connecticut, Bethel AME. And when I came back here, I came back to Trinity in 2004. And I've been, been here ever since under the pastor of uh, Reverend James Allen. My name is Ernest Moore. I'm a new member here at Trinity, Trinity uh, Chapel. And I think Trinity Chapel is probably one of the best churches here in Babinet. And I truly enjoy going here. I sing in a choir and I help clean up the church. And uh, Trinity has been a blessing and like finding a new family, you know? And uh, I think everybody here is some really, really beautiful people. And I think we got one of the best pastors, I must say, in all of Alabama, Reverend Allen. Reverend Allen, truly a blessing. And, uh, you know, Reverend Allen, always say like this, Reverend Allen is not big in statue, but he's big in all, in any other kind of way. He's, he's really a great guy and a beautiful pastor. And I think Trinity with some of its, uh, its uh, history, it's, uh, it's, it's awesome, honestly. I think, you know, for a church to be around as long as Trinity, it's a beautiful thing. I know it's a lot of people in this community, their family have came to Trinity and children, grandchildren, mothers, fathers, uh, my sister, her husband, uh, the gentleman that was full of water. <laughs> That's my brother-in-law. But uh, Trinity is definitely has been a blessing to me. I think, like I said, it's one of the churches that I guess it's one of the foundations of Babynet, actually. You know, it's been here for so long. So many people came and went, and families, and, you know, married, buried, I guess. You know, just, it's been a beautiful part of uh, Babynet. I'm Cecil Henderson, and uh, I'm a member of Trinity Chapel, AME. And I'm a trustee and a stewardess. And uh, since I, I was away from Trinity for a while, and I decided to come back that when I retired, and I wanted to come back and do what I could for the church and go to serve the Lord here at Trinity. I made up my mind before I even retired what I, exactly what I wanted to do. And it's been a real blessing here at Trinity. And uh, I do a lot of stuff around here, as a brother mentioned a lot long ago. And I enjoy doing it. And uh, it makes my heart feel good. And uh, anything around here that need doing, I do it. And uh, I don't brag about it because it's something I love to do. And uh, it's just something that grows on me through the years. And, uh, I want to serve Trinity and serve my pastor. And I uh, got the best pastor, James Allen. He's the nicest guy I ever met. And uh, I enjoy him. And uh, anything neat doing around here, I just do it. Um, we continued on as we continue on for many years. Um, we know that Pastor Jones, he was fundamental here at Trinity Chapel and he began with assistance of the city and the county in providing the Douglasville Community Center, which at the Douglasville Community Center, they provided uh, free lunches during the summer for kids and also had a swimming pool that time. And the members of Trinity Chapel AAB Church helped and assisted with those programs. And Pastor Jones during his tenure at that time also purchased a church van, church bus. We have a picture of that church bus with people standing around. 
And with the church bus, he would go down to Faulkner State College and pick up students. The students would come and participate in our worship service. Many would not go home on weekend, but came here to fellowship and serve at Trinity here in the choir, choir sometime and just be worshipers with us. Because, you know, with all things, we have to take time to give praise and worship to God. As Pastor Joan tenure went on, we had other pastors. And during the tenure of Pastor um, Holloway, that was at the time we had our annex bill in 1995. And we thankful, we're so thankful for the many pastors we had over the years. Our pastors, when I first came here in 1989, was Pastor Brooklyn. And so, and so Reverend Brooks was the pastor here at that time. And we served, we had uh, service Sunday school, morning worship, as well as sometimes, oftentimes, eating the programs with annual events, such as our Family and Friends Day, um, Men's and Women Days, and we also had different um, other events at the church at that time as well. I know some members, such as Sister he Evelyn Bowling, she was sponsored for what we call a Zodiac Tea, which would be a fundraiser for the church. Each member would pick a month, and they would set up and decorate those tables, and that way we have the uh, fundraiser with food, fellowship, and we would invite our friends in the community to help celebrate. And we would often have this event down at the Douglasville Community Center, uh, which were the mem many members of the church had helped facilitate. And we would also um, go out into the community, be an eye in the community. We would help with our voter registration. We would help just um, to encourage and enlighten the community. And Trinity Chapel has a rich history of educators in our church. Many of our educators were principals, teachers, and coaches at the Douglasville High School. And they are members such as Professor Anderson, uh, Sister Evelyn Bowling, um, Brother Shedrick Hardy, and his wife, Magic Hardy. They were all members here who were educators at the Douglasville High School. And these members would help as the two, he would help, and also um, Brother McCants. He was a principal at that time as well and an educator at the Douglasville High School. And many people give many accolades to these educators for helping them to get through life and endure life because of their uh, example and leadership. Many young men and women in the community went on to college. Many went on to Alabama State University, Alabama A&M, and became educators as well. And you know, with Douglasville High School and with the co connection of the community, Trinity Chapel was always a bright beacon in our community with those educators and the people who came to fellowship with us during those times. At times, we had service on the first and third Sunday, and we also fellowship with our fellow church, Union Baptist, who would come over the second and fourth, and we vice versa go over there with them as well. And so we are just a community of love, and we still now standing in this day with our current pastor, Reverend James Allen's with, with attempts to encourage the community, to evangelize, and to be a social activist in this community. We are part of the Douglasville uh, um, rezoning, re, uh, re alumni. We are part of many different city activities in the community. We are part of the Mutual Aid Society. Um, many members attend our city council meeting. Many members have voices throughout the community. Um, and, and as we participate in city government as well. And we are all, pre many are present with the PTO at different schools, our local school system. We're just working and continue to work to be, uh, continue to be a light in our community and providing and giving, not only um, celebrating the members of our church, but extending to other people in the community where there's a need, Trinity Chapel is always willing to help. We had once had a food bank here when we served not only the members of our church, but also members of our community as well. And um, we will continue to do that on the leadership of our pastor, our stewards and our trustees, and the auxiliaries that we have here, we'll continue to work in our community. We have a young people's department, we have a women missionary society in which we will um, help our sick in the community, those that may be bereaved or without our missionary will go forth go visit the nursing home, visit those sick. Any way that a person is in need, some of us are willing to help in any way we can with those in need. Trying to facilitate what is spoken in the Bible. Jesus said, when I was hungry, you fed me not. 
And when I needed clothes, you clothed me. Now, when I was sick, you did not visit me. And so we're trying to do our best as a church to follow in the road and the guides of the, of the word and our holy scripture and to do that as we can. My mama and my daddy didn't play in. She uh, used to sit right there in that third seat over there every Sunday stuff and she stayed here. I mean, she came to church faithfully until she got sick and couldn't come no more. And then when I go to the house and stuff, she was always listening to church music, listening to church songs, or either she got the TV on, on church, you know, dealing with church. She was all about church, and she was everybody, grandmama, everybody's. That's, they, they just call her grandmama. I used to call her my dear. That's, that's the name that, you know, we had for my dear. It's a lot of things. When I was a young kid, growing up, right here at Trinity Chapter, a lot of school teachers used to attend this church. They deceased now. They was good Sunday school teachers. Mm -hmm. You get out of line, they'll beat your tail. But we had some good time back then. Just like now, I'm 69 years old. Retired, God been guilty to me. And Trinity Chapel. Bless Reverend Alley, my pastor, and his family. With me, um, like I say, the church for the last, uh, I guess, say three, four years, uh, uh, I've been battling cancer. And the church have uh, Pastor Allen, he comes out to visit, you know, and um, my uh, missionary sisters, they would come out and visit also. Um, like I said, they've been good to me, um, you know, spiritually and financially. They have been good to me, so, you know, I just thank the Lord for that. Uh, because, you know, without the Lord, and I, and I say through the Lord, they work through the Lord. Pastor Allen works through the Lord. The, uh, the, the members work through the Lord. Because like I say, if you don't put God first in what you do, it, it's just not going to be successful. So, you know, and I just thank them for that. Um, and like I, say, the, like I say, the church, it has been really good to me. Because uh, like I say, without them, a lot of times, uh, you know, I need a little help here. The, the church will come through. So, you know, I thank them for that. My mother, she raised us, I mean, it just raised us in the church and stuff. And I just, she was my example. She was my example because she was always in church. So like I scrayed, but I came back. And like I said, when I came back in church and stuff, I got in the choir, got active in, in the church and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, when we, uh, with like on picnics and stuff like that, and just the, the just show love to the children and stuff, and then we used to have fun and stuff like that. On one occasion, that was really dear to my heart was a show of love toward me and my family. Um, I had to work. I work as a nurse, and I had to work that weekend. And my husband had brought my children to church that Sunday, and my husband getting my children dressed. My daughter' dress was backwards. But my, one of our uh, church members here, Ms. Ruth Adams, she was so kindly enough to take my daughter, take her inside, and change her dress around. Because my husband, he didn't know that the dress was not properly there. But through her love and being a mother, and a mother of this church, she just took my child in my absence and did, had her dressed correctly. And that just showed love and compassion that we have here at Trinity Chapel. You know, I've been around several places I've been several states in this country, but everywhere I go, I happen to run into somebody who happened to have been a member here at Trinity. You know, Trinity is spread far and wide. It might not be many of us here right now, but if you look around and you go everywhere you go, you will find somebody that has a connection to Trinity. And we thank God for that, because I'm gonna tell you, you know, when you look back and say, you know, look, 
what the, what the mothers and fathers did here at this church. I look at this ceiling when I came into this church. Handiwork, handiwork. They didn't have much to work with. They didn't have much money, but they look what they did. And when I look at the inside of this church, the mothers and fathers might not have been making but 50 cents an hour, but look what they did with that 50 cents here at the church. You know, you thank God because God has been good to Trinity. 133 years is not a short time, my brothers and sisters, but I tell you, look what God has still done at 133 years. 133 years might not be a long time, might be a long time in your eyesight, but it's just a short time in God's eyesight. And I tell you, I, when I came here, I said, we're gonna let Trinity be a beacon for the community. I said, where it can shine, where everybody can find their way. God is good, and he's still good to Trinity after 133 years. Thank you.